Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. I take time to strike. The, there are different types of snake, but there is a snake. That snake is a very short snake. That snake lives in the sand. If you go to beach, like, please share the broadcast. Share the broadcast quickly. I'm not going to waste your time. It's just five minutes. I want to address uh, President Teddy Galungu quickly. And then we take it from there. Well, this is just the beginning. We are building the foundation from here. Any moment from now, many of you have been asking, see one, why are you quiet? Why are you quiet? My my Facebook page has been flooded by people, especially from Zambia, who, who say, see one, see what you have done to us, see the person you influenced us to vote, see the person you told us to vote, see what is going on. So many so many people both from the ruling party and the and the opposition things people are, are writing me every blessed day when are you going to talk i hope you are going to follow exactly what i want to say we are going to take it one after the other we are not going to rush it but i can guarantee you as many of you know that i don't fail when i tell you that i don't fail i don't fail even if i if no matter what no matter no matter what no matter the government no matter who once i tell you that we are going we go and it's just one way it's going never return so many of you have said why are you quiet share the broadcast anywhere you are share the broadcast share the broadcast share the broadcast share it in the groups on whatsapp share it everywhere let people hear my voice this morning we are going to start by laying foundation because if the foundation is destroyed what can the righteous do so share the broadcast quickly anywhere you are i want to speak something the other day I was about to dress the nation of Zambia. I promise you that I was coming live and I couldn't come live. And many people came and said, Ah, see one, you have disappointed us. I know that that night people waited. And I know that so many people we are disappointed. People we are disappointed in hundreds of thousands, in millions. Everybody was waiting. Everybody wanted to hear me speak as I promised. But at the end of the day, I didn't speak. You know what happened? People say, ah, Sia One was uh, bribed. Sia One was given money to keep quiet. Sia One was paid to keep quiet. <laughs> I was laughing. The reason why I was laughing is because I am a soldier that knows how to shoot. Check my track record. I have never lost a battle in my life check my track level check whether the ones i fought with government the government of guyana the one i fought with the government of zambia the the individuals that i fought i want you to check go through them and tell me any one of them where i failed i i never failed and i've never failed and i can never fail so that's why the reason why i don't fail is because i take time i don't just start vomiting i don't just come and start talking hey hey this hey that hey this hey that no before i strike i take time and i prepare myself and i do all my work knowing that once we start we have started so look at this that night what happened I decided to keep quiet because of one thing. Whatever I do is for the people. It's not about me. Anything you see me do 
is for the love of the people, not for me. Including the ministry, including anything. What's anything you see me doing, I don't do it for myself. I do it for the people. And once the people are suffering, once the people are crying, I don't feel good. I feel very, very bad. Why did I not proceed with that live broadcast? It was simple. It was just one thing that happened. Number one, if I come to you and tell you that, okay, HH has failed, who are we going to replace HH with? There is, we, we must follow this very, very well. Who are we going to replace HH with? Is the next president coming from PF? Who is he? Is the next president coming from SP? Is the next president coming from DA or what? Or, or what, what? Who are we going to? I don't want to be like those people that tell you, ah, that one is a false prophet. See, that one is a false prophet. But they cannot point you to the real prophet. When I come to you and tell you that this one is not good, I must present you with an option. I don't want to create problems. And there is no option. Just like people who rise up and say, ah, that one is a false prophet, don't go there. But they cannot point you to the real prophet where to go. I don't want to do that. I am a very, very intelligent human being that when I tell you to say, this is not good, let us go with this. Just like I came and told you to say, Edi Galungu is not good, let us go to HH. I presented the person to you. So if HH must go, I, we must also have a replacement. And this is where my problem with BF came. This is where my problem with Edi Galungu came in now. Edi Galungu lost election in 2021. We just had a little bit of network problem. I hope it will not happen again. So Edi Galungu lost election in 2021. And after he lost election, for the first time in the history of Zambia, a, a political party that lost election was still intact. People were not leaving the party. The party was actually growing. What they needed was a way forward. They needed a leader. They needed somebody that could lead them. Edgar Lungu held on to power. He wanted to come back and be the president. Now, this is where African leaders fail. This is where they make mistakes. There is what is called a president and a godfather to the president. Every powerful person on earth has a godfather. I see a one that is speaking to you here now. I have a godfather. Everyone that is doing well on earth, big, has a godfather. You can never be greater than your godfather. Whether you like it or not, you can never be greater than your godfather. You will always respect your godfather. What Eddie Galungu was going to do to the PF was to play a role of a godfather. This is very simple. It's just that we, we allow our emotions sometimes to take better part of us. If not, you have lost election, you have seen that your party is still intact. Your party is still powerful. Almost all the people that serve as ministers in your party are still with you. You are supposed to leave and allow a convention. In that convention, you have already secretly anointed the person that will take over as a godfather. That is where he made the mistake. And this is where this is one of the reasons why I couldn't do that broadcast. Because I cannot say, let's 
let's support this candidate. Let's support that candidate. When I know that they are not going anywhere. Edgar Lungu is not coming back to rule Zambia. You cannot you can just mark it somewhere. It is not coming back to rule Zambia. But there is a way he could come back and rule Zambia. Very simple. Is anointing a political son and being a godfather. For example, he picks Mundibil and said, We are going to convention. You are going to be the next president of Zambia. I am your political father. I am going to guide you to tell you what to do. Remember, he already had over 1.8 1, 1 million people that voted for him. 1.8 people that voted for him. They were intact. In fact, they are intact. They voted for him no matter everything that we did against him. He still had 1.3 people, 1.8 people that believed him. Anyone he anoints automatically has 1.8 million votes. That one is not even negotiable. Now, during the campaign, when we were campaigning for HH, there are a lot of promises that we made for people. Which many of them were not fulfilled. Out of 2.8 million people that voted for us as UPND, how many people are disappointed? I'm not even going far. I'm not even talking about the population of Zambia. I'm talking even from UPND themselves. The food soldiers, the cadres. How many of them are happy today? How many of them are disappointed? So you can see that that 2.8 million already is not 2.8 million. Why this guy is having 1.8 million? Are you following what you are saying? The problem, instead of doing the right thing, you go and consult Sunday Sinyangwe. Who is Sunday Sinyangwe? A fool that don't, a fool that his church is like a, a, a person that don't have up to 100 people in his church. He's failing to mobilize his church. A church that he has held for more than 20 years and he has not achieved anything in his church is a person that a, a former president went to consult. We, what does Sunday Sinyangwe know? He cannot help himself. He cannot help his family. Then Edgar Galungu go to him and he's telling Edgar Galungu, God say, forgive the people. Forgive people for what did the people do? What did the people of Zambia do to him? Edgar Galungu stole a lot of money. That one is, is guaranteed. No one is even, you don't, if you go to Swaziland today, almost all the shopping malls, they are owned by Edgar Galungu. Edgar Galungu has a construction company in, Zamb in, in Swaziland. That, the, the biggest construction company in Swaziland is owned by how many billions did he leave he, he, he carry from Zambia and took outside the nation? The guy looted the country. That is guarantee. If there is anyone that should be asking for forgiveness, it's not the people of Zambia. Ediganungu should be the one asking for forgiveness. The problem is that any person that wear suit and say, Praise the Lord, you believe. An idiot that prophesied that the church will never be the president. You still had the courage. You are a fool, Edgar Lungo also. You still had the courage to go out to his church and, and, and he tell you, forgive the nation. Who, who are you forgiving? You need you yourself, people need to forgive you because you I don't want to fight today. Like I said, this we are just starting. I'm just laying foundation. War doesn't start from the first day. I'm just laying foundation. I just want to help the opposition to sit up so that we start and start moving gradually, gradually. It's a gradual process. But I can guarantee you that this battle, you see this one, we have won it. I swear upon Godfather. You can come back to this broadcast and tell me if what I'm saying will not happen. I don't need even to talk about that. But let us proceed. So, you are supposed to allow a conviction, anoint a candidate. You can actually say, mm -mm, I'm anointing uh, uh, Brian Mundibile to come and take over. And secretly, you call your ministers, your top M, M, what, what members, committee members, say they see as you go for convention, vote for Brian. Anyone you speak to will of, of definitely vote for your godson. And once that is done, 
PF will not have a president. And because you have a president and you are already strong on the ground, especially in the rural area, you will not start mobilizing. You yourself as, as a former president can actually pretend like you are not doing anything and be collecting your salary and be eating your thing. The problem is that, let me tell you this. The problem, somebody said you want to fight Lungu again. No, I'm not fighting Lungu again. I want to help him. The problem is that you don't learn. Ropi Abanda was your godfather. Edgar Lungu, but he was hiding. He didn't come out openly until the time of election. You can actually be a godfather to maybe, for example, Bowman Lusama. Push him to be PF president. I'm giving an example. I'm not I'm, I'm not a Bowman Lusambo person, but I'm giving an example. But let one person come from PF. You be a godfather. If you become a godfather, all the benefits we are getting when you were a president, once you become a president, you'll be getting those benefits. In fact, more. It happened in the United States of America. Joe Biden was a nobody. People voted him because of Obama. Obama was a former president. But today, Obama is a political godfather. All the things that he wanted to implement when he was in power that uh, 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 Trump could not implement. The moment Biden took over power, those things were implemented. You could come back and become the president of Zambia, but a God president of Zambia. You decide what happens from within. But unfortunately, what happened? You blew off everything because you are greedy. You are a greedy person. You wanted to come back and become a president. What are you going to achieve that you didn't achieve in seven years what do you want dear that you did not achieve in seven years let me tell you this what you don't know when Sata died you took over power out of sympathy you didn't do politics you are not a politician. You and the church, you are just the same. You are not a politician. You don't read anything. That's why I'm looking at HS today. I'm laughing. Because my HS uh, is not a politician. And those that call themselves his political advisor don't even know anything about politics. So Edgar Lungo is not a politician. You are not a politician. You are a lawyer. And then you came into politics and stayed many years. You didn't learn anything. If you were a politician by now, you are still going to be the president of Zambia. I'm telling you the gospel truth. If you were a politician by now, you are still going to be the president of Zambia. But the problem, you are, you are, you are not a, a, a politician. You are a lawyer. So you brought in the mentality of lawyer, just like President Church has brought in business mentality, and we are seeing how things are going. I'm coming there any moment from today. Now, this is what's supposed to be done. Allow a confession. Even with your own money. You have money. You have a lot of money. You are, you are a billionaire. Out of your money, sponsor that candidate that you want. He comes in through PF. And PF may not win the election alone now there is president member the sp there is calabar there are so many other opposition political parties you come together if you did that by now pf was going to be running my sampa was not going to hijack my sampa is, is a lunatic my sampa is a mad person he's not taking pf anywhere uh, so, you know somebody who somebody who uh, um, sorry let me block this idiot this is my name to scam people so somebody who who cannot even since he became the PF president he cannot go 
out and mobilize his party. He's afraid. He's always outside the country. You can see that he's a lunatic. Mao Samba is not even an option. But whatever happened in PF, Edgar Lungo must be blamed. Edgar Lungo must be blamed. For somebody, a tout like Mao Samba to come and hijack PF, it's because Edgar Lungo was greedy. He didn't want to do the right thing. He didn't want to allow convention. He wanted to come back and rule. But unfortunately, that is not possible. He can never, never come back and rule. For him to rule, he must come back through another person. Now, people of Zambia, uh, the opposition parties in Zambia still have one year in between to organize and come and do the right thing. For Eddie Galungu, my advice to you before I cut this broadcast, like I said, I just came to Lay Foundation. Before we proceed, the main broadcast is coming. I didn't announce. The main broadcast is done at night by, by 9 p.m. At that time, everybody is in their house waiting to hear. So this one, I just came to the office. Uh, unfortunately, uh, there are a lot of people here that I must attend to. But I've been looking at PFA, the Galungo opposition parties in Zambia, I've been looking at them, I feel pity for them because they don't know what to do, they don't know where to go, they don't know who to run to, they don't know exactly the button to press. That's why I came to say, let me offer them my advice. For you people that are in PF, especially Eddie Galungo, you still have an opportunity, number one, to step away from PF. PF is dead. With what has happened, I can assure you that PF is gone. You, while you still have support, register a new political party and not you registering it. Let somebody from a PF that has a good record register the new political party. Support that person. Speak to your ministers, those that are loyal to you. Secretly, let them support that political party. PF is gone. In 2025, when we are going to start the campaign properly, when you do it, you start mobilizing. Once you register, maybe Mundible registers it, a person that has a good record, a good track record, he register the party, Start mobilizing it on the ground. You don't show yourself. All you can do is bring up finances to mobilize that part, to support that part. I'm telling you, it's easy. It's very, very easy. This is not what God can do for you. This is what intelligence and political intelligence will do for you. Once that part is released, PF, PF is dead. You can never get PF again. Leave it from and the beside. BF already had a bad name. Register a political party. Call all the people that are loyal to you to start supporting that party. Start talking to people. In 2025, next year, when campaign will start. <laughs> Before you know it, what? It's a revolution. This day, with with media, with social media, you don't need to work so hard for you to win an election. It's easy. Within eight months, you can organize a party and win an election. Very easy. So register a party. Not with not your name appearing, you are now a godfather. That you must take it or leave it. You are now a political godfather. You can never be a president of Zambia again. But there is something bigger than being a president. It's called godfather. I myself, no matter how big I am, when I see the godfather, I bow. Godfather is the greatest authority. So if you become a political godfather, the person who is going to be the president is your son. 
hey my son this company came here give them contract they will be given a contract the same privilege you were enjoying when you were president you will still enjoy it and in 2025 merge that party with SP socialite party you come in agreement I will come and advise you again I will, I will, I will come and help you you match with SP Wasila <laughs> and leave the rest for us. <laughs> this is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.